Hi, Dan here. In this short lesson, I'm going to show you how to get the Tony Levin Sledgehammer tone. So what you need is a fretless bass, an octave pedal, a plectrum, and maybe some compression. He's a big fan of the Distressor. So that's what I've got. I put some Distressor Universal Audio plug in there. And this is what it sounds like without the octave. And let's use fingers as well. Nothing wrong with that. It's quite a smooth sound. You add the octave in, you get this. So it really fattens it up. I'm just using the Logic Dr. Octave uh, bog standard pedal here, but he would have used probably a, a Boss OC2. And I know these days he uses an EBS, but just an octave pedal. Now I just wanted to show you that you can get a decent sound even using the so-called not so great pedal. But let's hear what it sounds like with the, with the sort of direct pick attack that you get. Now another part of the tone is to play as close as you can to Tony Levin, who to, for me, he's just got just the, one of the best bass tones I've ever heard. I love his playing as well. This kind of slide. The, the note lengths are always perfect. He uses a lot of upstrokes as well. This is just a, a major pentatonic scale, by the way. Little slide, octave. And that note, it's just the flat seven. A lot of um, hammer-ons, vibrato. And lovely. Don't know if he's bending, or probably more likely. A little slide in and then out. So the tone is down to how you play it as well, but certainly plectrum, fretless, octave pedal, compressor is going to get you there. This is a Lakeland fretless and Tony Levin played the original bass line on a Music Man Cutlass, which is quite a rare old bass these days. I, I'd love to have one in my collection. His is lined, this is unlined. So if you're playing this on a gig, just do your best. If you've got a fretted bass, play with a fretted. But in order to you know, definitely put an octave on it, that's going to get you closer. But this is just the, an example of a bass line where a fretless is really a must. Hope you liked that very, very short tone video. If you want me to do any more a bit like this, just uh, put in the comment below the bass line and the song and I'll have a listen to it. And it'd be really fun to show you how to get some great bass tones. Thanks very much for watching. See you on the next lesson.